Rick Owens has just taken over the hype beast scene. If you ask me, I understand it's not necessarily streetwear, it's still designer, but I would almost call like Louis Vuitton and Gucci somewhat hype beast at this point because it's it's designer, but it's like regular. Like if someone has a Gucci belt on, it's like, okay, you paid like $200, okay. That's nice, like it's definitely good quality as designer, but it ain't like rare like that, you know? And Ricks are fire, sure. I mean, I definitely could not rock it. Most definitely not. That's that's just not me. I there's no way. That's not my swag. <laughs> I'm not goth or anything. I have some shoes that look like Ricks, but I got them for a video. But anyway, so we all saw this one picture of Trippy Red, right? where he's lying on the ground like he just got fucked in the ass by Cardi after the Mr. Rage music video. Maybe that's when this occurred, when this shot was flicked by uh, Gunnar Stahl. He shot the porn video of Trippy Red and Playboy Cardi. But he's rocking Ricks and he's on the ground just so he can show them off. So anyway, with this tweet, I said, shit is hype beast at this point. And always, motherfuckers gotta argue with me saying that it's not hype beast so i want to see what your opinions is are your opinions are is it hype beast or not and dude tonio drop him off get out of this fucking live i do not like you you're out of here you're out of here time out bitch suck my dick just because I wear it doesn't mean it's fly. Are you talking to me? Oh, oh, you're talking to somebody else. It's very high beast. Let's see. I'm pretty sure even Fat Nick said something about it. The real Fat Nick. What the fuck? Okay, right here. So he posted on his story. Yes, thank you. People got their first pair of Rick Owens in 2019 and 2021 and think they're fashion icons. Literally, I think there was even a video that I retweeted around Christmas time. Let's find it. Where one dude was going to a Playboy Cardi concert and he had like thousands of, look at this, right here. I wanna say he got like 10K on him of Rick Owens. And it's like, dude, you're gonna be so sweaty in the mosh pit at the Playboy Cardi concert that it's all gonna be ruined. Like, I understand like you collect fashion pieces and all that, but don't, don't ruin your shit. Fit check for Playboy Cardi tonight in DC. Let's fucking get it. Oh my God. That's where I'm from. I could have, <laughs> and I think this is around Christmas time. So I could have legit run into this dude. Um, Rick Maris, some goggles, gloves, Rick shirt, Rick shirt, another Rick shirt, my Rick shorts, geo baskets and some thermals. Let's fucking rap. All right, so I think he had like at least 10 pieces on him. So now let me look up, what is the average price of Rick Owens? I don't I don't even know what it costs. Like is Rick Owens really that rare? Why is it so expensive? Okay, let's look. Oh my god, bro. These shoes are $1800. This jacket is 2.2k. The glasses 640 the jeans 448 okay so they're a cheaper shit but the bomber jacket damn and then some people were telling me here's the bomber jacket but some people were telling me that um oh this is the black dress that cardi was wearing but it was a shirt but people were telling me that cardi gets like free rick owens shit basically to like market their products so I guess that's Cardi's payment, but damn, I feel like Cardi has literally influenced a whole generation of, you know, people listening to hip hop to rock Rick Owens. It is crazy. Like not only did he have the influence of music, he had it for clothes too. 
because that's a disgusting amount of money. I literally just paid, I went to Target and bought a six pack of black V-necks. The ones that I like too, that are like nice and soft fitted. And it was $35 and I was like, damn, like what the fuck? This is a lot of money for clothes. But now this shit is like $1,000 for a vest? 2,000 for some boots? They're probably gonna sell jock straps for like 4K. Like a cup, a nice fitted cup on your schlong. Uh, Uzi Cardi, all of them, they give, they be getting it for free. Yeah, I feel like that's the thing when you're famous that. Okay, so when you're poor and need money, like you, you dream of the times that you'll be able to afford all of the nice clothes and whatnot. But then you get famous and rich, potentially both or either or. And once you have the money to be able to afford these things, you get it for free. So then you never even use the money that you were like wishing that you had. Other than buying like, you know, real estate and all that. But a lot of the money just goes to wait, not waste, but like goes into bank accounts and just saved or like put into the, the stock market or some shit. It's crazy. That's why I guess, I, I don't know, like Jeff Bezos and them and who is it? Bill Gates. They just rock like polo shirts and khakis and they don't rock any jewelry. They don't even want because all it does is create a target out of yourself. Like when you go out in public that somebody's just going to rob you. If they know you're rich, they know you're famous, then you're fucked. And especially if you're as recognizable as some of these rappers, We've already seen how many rappers have lost their lives just over. I think X died over like $30,000 in a Louis Vuitton bag. But yeah, people have went from Supreme V loan bait to Alex Ricks, Balenciaga and Vermont. Yeah, that's why I don't get into it. It's just too much to keep up with. And like, I understand why people get into fashion. It's cool to keep up with the trends, just like it's cool to keep up with the trends with music or uh, I don't even know. But with fashion, it gets so expensive. I don't know, or shoes even, like the new Jays, the new Nikes, whatever. I don't know, the new Yeezys. I don't know how people keep up with it or where they get this money. Do they like get something, wear it never so they can sell it back in like mint condition? It doesn't make sense. I don't, it's weird make your own trend dude i don't know i don't even i'm not a trendsetter i'm just a part of this culture i don't create the culture i feel like no one actively tries to create trends you know it's like once you start trying that's when it's uh it's too hard like it, it, or it's too like people can tell that you're trying to do something way different it's like these people who i don't know like go overboard. Like Cardi's wearing, uh, you know, some questionable shit. But then there are dudes who are, I don't know. Literally, I saw some dude on TikTok put a hot dog in his fucking nose because he had like a huge ass piercing hole. And I was like, dude, that is not even cool. That shit is nasty as shit. There are dudes who are literally tattooing their entire body black and making themselves look like an alien, cutting off their ears, implanting like, I don't know, like metal balls and shit in their forehead. It's crazy. 